in Putnam County tonight. We're now seeing the body cam video of the moments before three Putnam County deputies open fire. But an armed suspect, we're also hearing the 911 calls this evening. Um, yes, they're begging for help. Someone's trying to kill him. What do I do? My daughter's freaking out. Keep Wait, your baby. doors locked. We're getting them out there. The suspect who deputies killed has been identified as 31-year-old Philip Baldwin. His deadly encounter with deputies happened early Saturday morning after two incidents at two separate locations that caused two people to call 911. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny breaks down the body cam video and explains the events leading up to Baldwin's death. Shortly after 11.30 Friday night, a Putnam County 911 operator receives a disturbing call from a woman on Shell Harbor Road in Satsuma. She tells the operator people are banging on her door, pleading for help because a man armed with a gun is threatening to kill them. The banging on the door is frightening the woman's child. Get over here. Get over here. Get you and the kids get over here. on the far end on the ground. Get over here. Okay. Get over here now. Get down with me on the ground now. When deputies arrived, they learned the people banging on the woman's door for help had just been carjacked at gunpoint. The carjacker was nowhere to be found. Deputies believe Baldwin was the suspect. Then an hour later, which would have been Saturday morning, another disturbing call to 911. This time it was from a home on North 2nd Street in Satsuma, just three miles from the carjacking investigation. What is his name? Andy's got a gun. His name is Philip Baldwin. And you said he has a gun? Yes. Yeah. The 911 caller wanted to remain anonymous, but told News for Jacks off camera that when she and her boyfriend came home, they noticed her boyfriend's truck was missing. She said Baldwin was her boyfriend's friend and was living with them. She told the operator that Baldwin was drunk, armed, and threatening her boyfriend. Body cam video shows deputies rushing to the home and quickly learning that Baldwin was in the backyard. No, don't drop them hands. I will shoot you in your face. Do you understand me? Shoot me. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands up. Seconds later, the body cam records Baldwin threatening to shoot the deputies because they're shining lights in his face. Then seconds later, as Baldwin appears to be walking away, a freeze frame of the video shows why deputies are about to use deadly force. According to investigators, this is when Baldwin made a gesture of reaching for his handgun inside his waistband. The gun is visible. At this point, all three deputies are in the clear to fire their weapons to neutralize the threat. Baldwin was shot multiple times. He was taken to HCA Florida Putnam Hospital in Palatka, where he died from his injuries. The second 911 caller who reported Baldwin told News for Jax that Baldwin didn't give the deputies any other choice but to use deadly force. During a Monday afternoon news conference, Sheriff Gator DeLoach echoed her statement. As you can see, they tried to establish some dialogue with Mr. Baldwin prior to him retreating. But at the end of the day, we knew that we were dealing with an armed carjacking suspect who had just committed a violent crime and victimized a, a poor, innocent person prior to this. Saturday's deadly shooting was the first time since 2017 in which a Putnam County deputy shot a suspect. Now, it's worth pointing out that Baldwin was no stranger to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. Records show he has been in and out of the Putnam County Jail multiple times since 2012. As for the deputies who shot him, they remain on administrative leave until FDLE finishes its investigation into the use of force by those deputies. Very dramatic video. And, you know, Monday morning quarterback, people always ask these questions. Did police use their taser? In this case, they did not use their taser, and that came up during the news conference. And the Sheriff Deloach said that the reason why those officers didn't use their taser because of the distance. They knew this guy was armed, um, and the tasers would not have been effective in this particular instance uh, because of the distance that they were trying to keep from him, knowing that he was armed. And also, you think about this, would you really bring a taser to a potential gunfight? 
Another question, uh, after watching the video, Eric, there, there are quite a few shots, uh, several shots. Did they talk about a lot of why shots. there were so many shots fired? Yeah, you and I, we were just talking about the fact yeah. that it looked like the deputy did was called a mag dump. Um, the reason why you saw that many shots is because when deputies and law enforcement in general are faced with a threat, especially an armed threat, they are taught to continue firing until that threat is no longer a threat. And something that you didn't see in the video, in the uh, and that's just the edited video, but in parts of that unedited or less edited video, you actually see that he is still holding the gun even after he goes down. And when they get closer to him, he's still holding the gun and he's conscious and he's talking. So again, you continue firing until that threat is no longer a threat. All right, Eric Cabinet, thank you for that report.